Hi, last few days are forcing us to work differently. Uh, let me explain. On one side, we have the hospital operations. We have our animals there. They are being taken care of by an amazing group of vets. They are okay. We have daily updates from them. So they know they are all evolving. They're all okay. Now, on the other hand, we have the teams at the homes, at the, at the rescue centers. We have two, the pink house and the white house. So we have people there 24 seven and the animals are also okay. Now, on the other hand, you have me going around coordinating everything and I'm actually not allowed to, to leave the home. So, okay, I've been there a couple of times, but I'm actually trying to follow the rules as much as I can. So I'm here, I'm at home, I'm trying to coordinate the whole thing from here and making sure as well that the YouTube channel has uh, daily content. So that also, that helps us um, raise funds for our continuous operations and you know there is so many commitments here that, that, that we can I cannot let this uh, this YouTube channel uh, go down so today I thought I, I, I give you an update and I told you the end of a story that uh, happened four years ago uh, it's a story of Otto this is one of our most viral videos but it was uh, left hanging no one really saw what happened after the rescue. Let, let me tell you a story. Uh, Otto was found on the, on the on fields of Murcia. Uh, his uh, sister had been rescued a few days earlier with a terrible injury on her leg. Her name is uh, Alice Alicia. And uh, Otto came to the hospital a couple of days later. Now, here I'm gonna show you the moment he was rescued and part of the rescue and then I'll see what happened next. Just have a look. This is Otto's story. Thought I was losing who I call myself. World of illusions didn't dare to sing my name. That was when you came along, and I Your arms have 
carried me for miles Here's where I belong So after Otto was rescued, he came to the White House, he was with us for a few months, and then he found a beautiful family in Holland. Young couple, Barbora, and her then boyfriend who adopted them. They had another dog, they were great. So we went there, we placed them, we placed Otto in that beautiful home and the reception was just incredible. So after we left, we remained in touch with them over the years. These are, these are really, really wonderful people and very, very dear to us. So many things happened in their lives during this time. The couple got married, they had a beautiful wedding, really beautiful, where Otto was uh, one of the special guests. Actually, I think he was a he was a he was a witness to the to the wedding. It's uh, it's really amazing when you see when you see animals being made part of a, of a human ceremony like this. Um, so months later, or a year and a half later, the family grew and they had a baby. So Otto became, you know, big brother, and uh, he has been an amazing amazing brother for the little one, unbelievable. We get pictures from them all the time. It's, uh, it's, it's, really, it's, really, it's really amazing to see an animal that has gone through so much in his life and who comes from such a horrible place to end up in such a beautiful environment with such an amazing family. So he's now a big brother to, to the baby. Uh, they are growing together, they're playing together. Otto is now getting older. He is now probably six years old or something like this, maybe, or maybe five and a half, I don't know. Uh, they get to, to a lot of mischief and uh, he has a really great life. Whenever I see the updates from the family, it always brings a smile to my face because, uh, because I know what his future was gonna be like. And believe me, he wasn't good at all. He wasn't good. Otto? <laughs> so this is just one of the stories. This is just one of the hundreds, thousands of rescues that we have performed over the years. Uh, our animals are scattered all over the globe. Many of them are here in Spain. Many of them are in Europe, in, in Holland, in, the, in Germany, in Belgium. We have, uh, we have dogs in Italy, south of France, north of France. We have them everywhere. And then of course, we have the animals that went to the States, both dogs and cats. It's um, whenever, whenever I wake up and you know, I'm feeling a bit down or oh, God, you know, what's gonna happen today? I just, I just look at the map and I think, okay, who is there? Who is in Miami? Who is in West Virginia? Look, wow. Otto, how is he doing? Well, what about the ones in Germany? It's a really, it's a really, it's a really nice feeling to know that you have changed indirectly or directly. You have changed the lives of so many. It's a, it's, it's really a beautiful thing, guys. Uh, so here I am. I'm home alone. Actually, this series of videos uh, should be called that home alone. Um, I am uh, communicating with my kids through through pictures, videos, and I go see them whenever I can, uh, but as I say, you know, these are, these are moments when, when we all have to take a step back, we have to isolate a bit, uh, but at the same time, we have to make an effort in, in reaching out, in being close to our people, being close to our friends, the ones that are all over the world, the ones that, you know, help us going through life. Maybe, I don't know, somebody said the other day that this, this situation, I don't want to say the word V, but uh, maybe this uh, situation is uh, it's gonna force us to reevaluate our life, our priorities and who we are. Um, it's very humbling, definitely. 
it's a very humbling uh, experience. So that was uh, that was uh, that was all for today. I'll come back tomorrow with another update, hopefully, or maybe just another rambling video. Who knows? But I just wanted to remind you that uh, that we're here, that we're working, that our work never stops, and that even in these uncertain times uh, and scary times as well, we need your support. We need your support. Uh, at the bottom of this video, there's a PayPal link. You can donate directly towards the animals at the hospital. But then also, very important, we need you to come on board as a Patreon. That small but growing community of monthly donors that are the ones that are making things happen. Without them, I wouldn't be able to be here. Without them, so many things just wouldn't happen. Sergio, our team, cameras, we have entire hospital everyone is just uh, it's a big responsibility so guys once again thanks a lot see you tomorrow and please if you can just join us on patreon take care see you tomorrow